Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Juventus. This is Season 1, Episode 5. In today's episode, we're currently in the January transfer window, and we also have deadline day. We also have a match against Roma at the Juventus Stadium uh, coming on later. Now, unfortunately, guys, Paul Pogba has requested to leave. He has told me and the board, so hopefully we can keep on to him, but uh, it doesn't look likely, unfortunately. We're going to try put him out on loan. In previous career modes, the best strategy if a player wants to leave is to put them on loan instantly as soon as they stay, say that. You might not be able to play them throughout January, but once the January transfer window slams shut, you can recall them for a fee, uh, which is pretty stupid if I, I'm honest. You shouldn't be able to re-call uh, re, um, players if you're out of the transfer window, like in Football Manager. It's sort of a bit of a, um, an exploit uh, in FIFA 16, but unfortunately, guys... I'm disappointed to confirm that Paul Pogba has been sold by the board to Real Madrid, and here he is in his Real Madrid kit. However, we've gotten a huge, huge cash flow injection, a huge transfer budget because of him. So we need some players to replace him. So I was umming and ahhing between a couple of players, and um, I've made the decision to launch a bid for Sergio Aguero. 27 years of age, 88 overall, obviously an Argentine. Would link up very well with... Um, Dybala up front. Murat has been playing okay this season. He hasn't been playing as what I would expect him to. Dybala is just out of this world. I'm also going to be inquiring for Vidal, so hopefully we can pick him up. But uh, we're currently negotiating here with Manchester City. AS Monaco have launched a 35 million bid for Pjanic. Seeing as I played nearly double that, there's no way in hell I'd let him <laughs> go for that. I'd only accept a 90 million bid for Pjanic, because he's been exceptional in this midfield role. Um, 89 is the next counter-offer. Sometimes they do accept those sensational bids. Pierre is going on loan, 25 years of age, 81 overall. Very, very good on career mode, but we simply can't fit him into the squad. Berardi, the fan favourite of the series, 21 years of age, 82 overall. Um, Manchester United have submitted a 31 million bid for him, which is uh, huge. So sort of umming and ahhing, how much should I let him go for? And I honestly wouldn't want to let Berardi go anything less than 95 million. But we've negotiated with Manchester City to get, to get the services of Aguero for 92 million. He's worth 60, and he's going to be guaranteed goals. So we've got Sergio Aguero leading the line. He's going to help us for our Champions League for, push. Uh, Four-star weak foot, four-star skills, an exceptional striker, and he's going to link up well uh, with the other South Americans in the side. But he looks really, really good, Sergio, in a Juventus kid. How good does he look? But uh, I was sort of arming and eyeing whether or not to get a, a centimetre replacement straight away. Um, I went with a striker because we've been, I don't know, Paul Pogba at the camp's been really, really good until we sold him. But Dybala was sort of, I don't know, a little bit isolated. I just haven't been playing well with Morata. Excellent in real life, excellent in career mode. But I simply just, I'm not playing well with Morata, so he's going to be coming off the bench from now on. Sergio Aguero is getting his starting position. I was arming and eyeing between Carlos Tevez, another Argentine formerly from Juventus, or so Zlatan Ibrahimovic, I would have really liked to bring him back to his former club, Juventus, but unfortunately, um, for some stupid fucking reason, um, I, I, set, I submitted a bid and got the contract underway. Asamo was going on a loan to Manchester City, included with a deal from uh, uh, Aguero. Chelsea have submitted a 19 million bid for Mandzukic. I want his, what he's actually valued at. Um, because now that we've signed Aguero, uh, Mandzukic isn't needed uh, in the squad. Obviously, Morata is going to be taking his substitutional uh, place. Arsenal submitting bids for both Mandzukic and Berardi. So it's going to be interesting to see if we sell either of them. Hernanez, 30 years of age, 80 overall. He's got some cracking long, long shot stats. Um, he's going to be going to Sevilla. Now, Arturo Vidal, 28 years of age, 85 overall, one of the best midfielders, one of the best center defensive midfielders in the game, and I've submitted a 40 million bid for Mandzukic. Um, hopefully, those bids from Arsenal and Chelsea don't get wrapped underway, but Neymar has signed for PSG Paris Saint-Germain. We got paid 96 million for Pogba, and now we've signed Aguero for 92.5. Manchester United have submitted a 44 million bid for Pjanic. I'm not going anything less than 95 million, but if any 
any of those sides except those ridiculous counter offers, we're going to be making an abundance of cash. Um, we're coming to eight hours left in the window. And Bayern have submitted a 41 million bid for Pjanic. And because we're coming into the dying hours, I don't want to go anything less than 98. His um, counter offer has been increased. But we still have a match against Roma in today's episode. But surprisingly, Bayern Munich have accepted the bid plus uh, uh, Mandzukic. So we're going to be bringing Vidal back to Juventus. I'm so happy. I was so disappointed that Juventus... Uh, Sold him. He's such an exceptional player. And Mandzukic is going back to Bayern. So a lot of players coming back to their former sides. Spurs have accepted a bid. Uh, sorry, Lyon have technically accepted a bid. And have uh, and Spurs have signed Lacazette for $46.5 million, Which is pretty good in my opinion. We're coming to the dying hours of the window. It really does suck that we... Um, we lost Paul Pogba, but there's nothing I can do about it. However, in turn, we've brought in Sergio Aguero and Arturo Vidal, which I think is better. If you were given the option on the table, right, you're a football manager. Okay, right, you have one or two options. You can have Paul Pogba in your starting eleven, or you can have Arturo Vidal and Sergio Aguero. Nine out of ten, he would go with Sergio and Aguero, I believe. But obviously, everyone is, is different and has their own thoughts and opinions. But having a, a world-class striker up front and then having a, a world-class center defensive midfielder, center midfielder. Now, Hernanes didn't go through to his move from Sevilla, but could um, quite possibly go to... Arsenal. Now, De Stiglio, we do have a little bit of money here. Uh, we did actually get a contract and uh, had an offer accepted earlier on in the season in July, but I managed to... I had a one-in-three choice uh, between Gabby Adini, Felipe Anderson, and De Stiglio, and I chose Gabby Adini. But uh, a couple more transfers might go through. Dominic Berardi, a 42 million bid from Wolfsburg. But at this point in the window, it's not in my best interest to sell any players that I can't uh, easily replace. But we have the squad report coming up. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at your favorite players in depth stats. So Vidal has played five matches in the Champions League so far and has scored one goal. But uh, here, here is Vidal. Got some incredible stats. Four-star weak foot, three-star skills. And it's great to see him in the 2016 Juventus kit. And also I'm going to be showing you my uh, starting 11 for the remaining of the season. But uh, he's going to do really well in this midfield role. And uh, with Pogba exiting and Aguero and Vidal coming in, I've had to tweak the side a little bit. So we're still playing the 3-5-2 Aguero up front. Dybala leading the line. We have Pjanic at the cam. He's going to be replacing uh, Paul Pogba. We've got Berardi on the left. who has been playing exceptional in his first season. We've got Vidal and Marquisio in the midfield. Dani Alves on that right mid side playing as a defensive winger, tracking back to the three at the back, the BBC, Benucci, Barzagli, and Chiellini. It's really a four at the back sometimes, and we have Buffon in goal. One Cadrado, Morata, um, Kingsley Coleman, and Gabi Adini coming fresh off the bench. But with these two world-class signings, we can hopefully push for the title and the Champions League. Insigne has the most goals in the Serie A, uh, leading with 15, Dominic Berardi, a third, Domenico Berardi rather said. But we have a match against Roma here today. We have Vidal and Sergio Aguero's debut, which I'm really excited. Roma are playing a 4-3-3 defensive. Mohamed Salah, El Shuari, Strutman, Nangol, and De Rossi in the midfield. That is exceptional, um, an exceptional midfield. Marquisio on the ball. Whips it into Pjanic, rises to the occasion against his former side, but unfortunately couldn't put it in the back of the net. Pjanic gets the corner kick just before the seventh minute. Will it create anything from this highlight? Dybala gets his head up onto it, but headers straight to Chesney. The Polishman uh, holds it on quite comfortably. Strutman breaking away here, but it didn't develop into anything. Aguero whips it into Pjanic, and he fires against his former side. Unfortunately, couldn't put it in the back of the net. Roma with a highlight here, determined to get on the score sheet. Mohamed Salah plays into Strutman. Mohamed Salah back on with the header. And uh, very unlucky uh, lucky not to score there. But Aguero skipping past the defense. Managed to uh, unfortunately miss at the very end. But Vidal sends an absolute rocket at home. He's in his home environment. And uh, 
It feels good to be back. Vidal starts off the scoring in this match. Either side couldn't score in the first, but in the second half, just before the 71st, Vidal makes it 1-0 against Roma on his debut. And what a sensational finesse for the, uh, the Chilean. It's good to see him back at uh, Juventus. Sergio Aguero back on the ball, determined to score on his debut, but unfortunately misses. Kingsley Coleman comes fresh off the bench. It'll be interesting to see if he has any sort of impact. Pjanic plays it short to Aguero. Aguero breaking away here, whips it, a, <laughs> whips it into the box and finds Chiellini. He makes it 2-0 just before, well, on the stroke of the 90th, rather, say, with two minutes remaining of extra time. Chiellini scores his first goal of the season, and the Juventus teammates go and uh, show the, the Juventus faithful uh, their support. But what a ball in from Sergio Aguero to break away here. What a sublime header to get it past Chesney. I, I really do prefer playing it out to a player with corner kicks in FIFA. They're just woeful, just trying to bomb it into the box. But we managed to win 2-0 over Roma in today's episode at home, which is a great result. We managed to get the three points. Unfortunately, we lost Paul Pogba. He was sold, but we managed to gain Sergio Aguero in Vidal, so we made the most of his uh, transfer. But guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name has been Simsy. Goodbye.